Hello and welcome to Caracalla House on Caracalla Road, Ennis County Clare. Located in this very popular, very much sought after and affluent road in the heart of Ennis Town, just a short stroll to all amenities, is this spectacular um, uh, brick surround uh, two-storey home with five bedrooms, three receptions, uh, kitchen, breakfast, formal dining, sun lounge and so much more. Set on an incredible site, as you can see, to the front you have your lawn areas, your pathway that leads to the front door, your brick uh, front boundary wall with the wrought iron railing, and then you're in to your Tarmac Adam Drive, which further extends into the automatic uh, gated entrance, further extending out into that nice big yard out to the rear of the house, and indeed the private rear gardens and split patio. We'll pop out at uh, the back in a minute, but just again to take in the front of the house and the location that you're in, Car Calla Road, as I say, probably one of the most very special places to live in Ennis Town. All the sites are nice and mature, the area is nice and mature, the walking distance to your national and secondary schools. And I, when I say it's town centre, you are literally a five to ten minute walk maximum uh, lit, lit footpath all the way to Ennis Town Centre. And of course, for those looking to commute to Shannon, Limerick and Galway, the inner relief access point is about 800 metres down the road. So arriving it to the back of the house, you can again see and appreciate how substantial this home is. Uh, and again, you'll get a further appreciation for that when we go inside as well. The split patio that leads to the sun lounge and indeed to a ground floor reception and from the utility. Then a step down into a further patio out into the lawn area. Your, your yard here, your, your fine garage. Garage is absolutely super. It's like a house in itself with a nice rear yard to that as well and you can now see the maturity and the privacy that this home boasts with the trees your high uh, block wall and as i said you have a further rear yard here to the back of that detached garage so a really spectacular site in this outstanding location so let's take a pop inside and take a look at Kaharkala house so on entering the main entrance hallway, you can see the very nice proportions uh, that greet you just as you walk inside. And those proportions pretty much continue throughout this fantastic home. You have your solid marble flooring, you have your U-shape, center carpeted staircase that leads to the first floor landing. And that has a nice void space between ground and first floor. Very nicely out to the ground floor as well. As you come in the door, you have the home office here on the left hand side. Ideal if you retain that as your home office and you have anyone calling, it's not traipsing through the house straight in and on the door on the left hand side into the office. On the right hand side is into the reception which further connects to the formal dining and into the sun lounge. The door straight ahead into the kitchen breakfast with under stairs storage here on the right. Ground floor WC here on the right and then down the hallway here we have two further reception rooms um, with this spectacular one here on we call it the door on the right. Uh, and that connects out onto the patio area, but a really, really nice bright room. Wrap around glazing, then you have your feature wall here with the indentation for your TV, shelving, book shelving, and of course you have your landscape electric uh, fireplace there as well. Just a nice feature and a really, really nice room. And again, great connectivity to the outside via the sliding door. The another reception room here, and the owners use this as a dining also even though there is a formal dining off of the other reception you'll see that shortly but again very nice uh, nicely appointed room facing out to the front of the house with the corner marble surround fireplace with the solid fuel stove nice finishes with the ceiling coving your light fixtures your curtains your poles your blinds the radiator covers everything done to a very very nice specification upgraded throughout the years uh, by its current owners and of course maintained in, in, in impeccable condition as well. So from your front doors, again, you can see uh, you're into the main reception, I'll call it here. And again, uh, this connects then out into the formal dining and then into the sun lounge. The marble surround fireplace here as well with the matching sur uh, marble surround uh, mirrored unit, integrated solid fuel stove uh, uh, positions just behind the flowers. And of course, you've wall mounted lighting, decorative ceiling coving once again, and the center rose feature. And as I say, that's open plan then into the formal dining space, which then further connects out into the sun lounge. Sun lounge, 
great connectivity out into the back as you saw from the exterior uh, video. Via the French doors there, your wraparound glazing, the vaulted ceiling, the Velux windows, just really make that makes that room uh, sun-drenched uh, space. So nice, great to have it. And of course, you can see the flow. Um, you can see the flow of that open plan uh, main reception into dining and into sun lounge. So popping back into the hallway and into the kitchen breakfast, you're into a very modern ivory style um, one and base unit kitchen. Uh, has absolutely everything. Top class appliances again, look you can see. You have your integrated NEF double ovens, you have your NEF again, overhead um, microwave. Once again, the ceramic hob, your dishwasher, uh, your pull-out bin, your one and a half bowl single drainer sink, and that has the insincorator, insincorator unit. Under counter lighting, you have the Aga range um, with the traditional surround and additional side storage as well. Ceiling mounted spotlighting, the tile splash back surround, eye level glass display unit, and of course then you have the island with the extended granite counter to facilitate your breakfast seating and your tile flooring of course as well. So probably a few features I haven't mentioned in all in the kitchen breakfast, but a really, really nice space. And of course, look at the outlook you have out into the patio and your gardens. And of course that garage, I mean, it's great, great storage space, uh, our workshop, or if you have your um, into your gym or whatever else, but there's certainly no shortage of rooms in the house to create a gym or any other purpose room as well. Into the utility, and the utility, is as it should be a bit of everything going on between clothes uh, or between coat racking your double fridge freezer your very important wine rack uh, your base storage your washing machine dryer tile splashback surround again your tile flooring as you saw continued through here from the kitchen and of course access out onto the rear patio and gardens once again here so that pretty much rounds off the ground floor uh, we we'll pop upstairs where we have five double bedrooms. Of course, if you did require a ground floor bedroom, there's absolutely nothing stopping you creating a bedroom down there to the left hand side, call it in the room that they have the dining space. Um, but you have five bedrooms up at the first floor level. And again, nice feature staircase. As I say, you have a void wrap around uh, a space down into the ground and first floors. And then as you arrive at the first floor, again, great day out. Bedroom here, just as we come up, you have the bathroom to the rear, double door hot press, then you have your master bedroom, another bedroom here out to the front, and then to the left hand side around the, the corner here, we have two further bedrooms which we'll visit later on. So we'll do a clockwise direction, so we'll start into this room here, and we'll go with, again, a fine double room. All the rooms, to be fair, are double bedrooms, no shortage of built-in wardrobes, uh, built-in wardrobes pretty much I think in every bedroom bar one um, but again look at the quality of the flooring and of course no shortage of shelving hanging rails and additional overhead and base storage it has it all then into bedroom number two and this is the only room I think without the built-in wardrobes it's a nice double room even though it's configured as a single you can see it's a double room all day Long, of course, and great natural light coming from the front of the house. Then heading down this side of the house, we have another double room. And of course, no shortage of built-in wardrobes, the quality of your flooring, again, your blinds throughout the house, all done to a very, very good standard. Another double bedroom, of course, and then you have your built-in wardrobes here to the right-hand side, more shelving here on the left. But look at the size of the room. Uh, when you look at the double bed and all the fitted furniture and still you have all this space around it. Then you have the main bathroom, nicely modernized uh, in recent years as well. And here you have your tile flooring, your wet room style shower tray, your overhead, elect or your overhead um, electric shower actually here, and uh, glass panel shower door, your low level WC, heated towel rail here on the right hand side, additional storage cabinet, then you have your wash and basin with the surround mirror, which has integrated lighting as well, and that has the base storage also. And of course, recessed lighting and really top class ceiling to floor tiling. And then finally, we have bedroom number five. Again, all your built-in wardrobes here on your right hand side, the indentation for your double bed. Um, great outlook again from here out onto the back gardens. 
and of course off of this room then you have the ensuite the ensuite like the main bathroom was upgraded uh, pretty recent as well uh, as in in recent years it has, it's not something that was done last year the year before but it has been in recent years as you can see with the style of decor the floating washroom basin with additional base storage again you have your lighting surround mirrored cabinet the double shower trip, the overhead pump shower, glass panel shower door, recessed lighting. You have your heated towel rail here on the left hand side. And of course your bordered ceiling to floor tiling as well. So that concludes our video presentation of Caracalla House, Caracalla Road, Ennis County Clare. We will be delighted to show you around this stunning five bedroom, three reception, detached family home in this incredible, incredible uh, location in Ennis Town. Please do feel free to call us for further info on 065-684-0200 or email us info at dngosullivanhurley.com. Thank you very much for watching.